Hey there, my name is Redonal, and if you're already a subscriber, you'll know that I do gaming videos because I like to play my games. So I managed to get a hold of a copy of Mario Kart 8, which I am going to show you some gameplay of and stuff. I have like a little unboxing video, but with it, this cool little Power A Wii Wheel thing, because I am a Wii Wheel player. I find the controller is, um, I don't know, I don't get the same satisfaction as using using the Wii Wheel. Obviously, it's just, just the motion control, it's just a plastic at the end of the day. But uh, I enjoy um, I enjoy using this piece of plastic. That sounds totally dodgy. But I enjoy using this, uh, this piece of plastic to hold the Wii Remote, because it makes it feel a bit more comfortable, and you get the whole steering sense, and it's just good fun. So um, I'm going to show you this, and more importantly, I am going to show you this what Mario Kart 8 there he is suckers um so I really am super psyched to play this and I cannot wait I'm gonna go ahead and open this we wheel up first and then we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna play some games and we're gonna show you some gameplay so we've got the uh the Power A Racing Wheel, um, official Wii U license by here. Um, I've got myself a, a blade. Don't play with blades kids it's super dangerous. So we're gonna open this bad boy up just give this a little slice by here. I want to tear the sticky. It's sticky everywhere. Nobody likes sticky. Oh, that is sliced open. There we go. He ran open up. Let's check this sucker out. So, obviously it's different from the original Wii Wheel that you got with the first Mario Kart on the Nintendo Wii. Let's check it out and see what the differences are. So we take those bits of plastic off. So, we've got Mario in his cart printed on the front. It's got quite a nice little texture to it feels quite comfortable to hold um yeah it's got oh it's a that's interesting we've got here a spring-loaded um b button so you've kind of got like a little um press to it it's, it gives it a proper button feel the other one before just had the ring um of the b button itself inside the wii wheel so that meant that when you're pressing it you kind of have the natural feel of the b button but i think that give it quite a nice feel you got this little finger groove right here which gives you that kind of um that stop of where you i don't know if you can see the little finger groove of uh where your finger should be for that it feels really comfortable to hold um, I'm not sure if I prefer it yet, I haven't tried using it yet, so we'll give it a go, um, see if I prefer using it to the original Wii Wheel, but I've also got my original Wii Wheel to fall back on, um, if, uh, if this doesn't pan out, but I like it, I mean, it's cool, you got Mario Kart, you got Mario Kart 8 printed on it, I mean, that's, that's cool enough as it is, it's cool for a little collectible. Um, let's see how it looks with a Wii Remote in it to start with, and then we'll go from there. So initially we've got our Wii Remote all powered up, should be, with some rechargeable batteries in it. Pretty simple to load in, same as the other Wii Wheel before. Um, you've got the hole for the wrist strap right here, just so you can feed that through there. Um, simply does it. Um, and then it just rests in there nicely. I think we just gotta give it a little push down with your thumbs, and it fits in the Wii Wheel very nicely. I'm not sure if we're calling them Wii Wheels anymore, because it's a, it's a Wii U wheel, it's a Power A Mario Kart 8 wheel. So, wrist strap fits in nicely. I'm missing the, the Wii logo from here as well. It would have been nice if they'd have put some detail on there. Again, you've got these shiny bits of black plastic to give it that bit of extra um, pizzazz. It looks and feels very nice, comfortable in the hands. You've got a dimmed piece of clear plastic by here for where the uh, where the infrared sensor is. You can point at the screen and click stuff, um, which makes it a bit easier when navigating. Now, one thing which I'm noticing with this Wii Wheel already, actually, is that's a lot more comfortable to hold as a Wii Remote in general without the controller being in the way, because the other Wii Wheel, you're holding sort of this whole top bit of the remote to actually do anything with. So you can fit your hand in this kind of nicely, and it still works um, as a Wii remote just by pointing and clicking. I generally just use the D-pad anyway, but <laughs> still it, it makes it makes navigating the Wii menu a little bit easier um, with that extra comfort there, so I like that a lot. Apparently I wasn't paying very close attention to the box of this cool little Wii wheel thing um, because it does say on the key features exactly what this little groovy thing for your finger, as I put it, is for. Actually a button guard, which totally makes sense. Um, what you find with the older Wii uh, wheels is when you rest them down, the B button would press and if you left it rested it could sometimes keep the B button continuously pressed down which meant that it would waste battery power so this little guy 
hard, not only is it a cool groovy thing to rest, <laughs> but it also conserves battery life, because when you rest it down, it's not going to be pressing the B button, and that spring load also helps then if it does have, somehow manage to rest on it, it's probably not going to press it down with just the weight of the controller on it, because you need to put some force into pressing that B button. And that B button actually feels really nice with the button inside there already, I was wondering how that was going to feel, because it's the B button on the Wii remotes kind of have a clickiness about them as well, but that spring loadedness definitely works. But the most important thing now is checking out Mario Kart 8 and seeing how this sucker plays with the game. So let's open up Mario Kart 8 and check that out. So here we have Mario Kart 8 in its seal. Um, we're gonna just open him up with the official Nintendo seal. I love these things. There's nothing better than opening up a new game. I'm like super excited right now and I'm glad to be sharing this moment with YouTube. Let's just Plastic, Plastic is off, Mario Kart 8 is open, and first of all, let's get a let's get a whiff of that new game smell. This is so weird, but I, I completely I have to smell the new game. It's just it's just the best thing in the world. I don't know if anybody agrees with me, but Nintendo games just smell the best. Um, something about the plastic they use is probably totally bad for the environment, but it smells amazing. So there's the Mario Kart 8 game disc. Super cool. Um, I like that a lot. You've got my Nintendo points in here, which I will be registering to get my free copy of... I'm going to choose Monster Hunter Try. I don't know if anyone's seen that promotion. You need to get online and register your club Nintendo points so that you get a free game. There's loads of selections. There's cool ones in there, like New Super Mario Bros. Um, and Monster Hunter Try big games as well, not just like cheapy little NES titles that they're just giving away for free. It's a proper game, so I cannot wait to get my hands on Monster Hunter 3. Ultimate, because I haven't played that yet, and I've been eager to. Obviously, we've got inside instruction manual. Mario Kart Quick Guide, they generally do these um, instruction manuals now on the actual game disc itself. It's really easy to navigate with the Wii Remote, so just a little quick guide. You've got motion control with the Wii U gamepad also. I don't know if you can see there. We've got um, either the left analog stick or tilt function too. That works out quite well. You can see on the screen it's got its own little features and things. And you've got B for reverse, A for accelerate, standard Mario Kart controls. ZL is to fire an item. And ZR plus A is to drift. So it's obviously right shoulder button and accelerate. So let's put these things back in here. And let's get straight on to it and play some Mario Kart 8. I've decided that I'm going to actually display the gameplay of this in a separate video. So I'll put that on a separate video because otherwise this video is going to run on for like forever. So um, we'll put in another video and then you can watch that separately if you so wish. Um, or just watch that one and not watch this one. Whatever you're doing, I don't care. Just be sure to give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a comment in the comments below. And um, subscribe if you like my videos as well. That would be much appreciated. Any help is always welcome. And uh, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. And enjoy your Mario cutting. It's gonna be awesome!